Hi there, I'm Carol Jurgensen Sheets, aka Carol the Coach, and what I know to be true is that a lot of anger can occur between partners and sex addicts. And sometimes the addict's mad at the partner, and sometimes the partner is mad at the addict. And so I'm going to give you a formula today that I promise you will make you feel better. It's called STOP. And STOP is an acronym for the process that you need to go through to release the anger, to change the negative energy, and to shift negativity into care, compassion, and kindness. Oh, it feels good. And it's super easy. S stands for stop. So you stop yourself from ruminating about how angry you feel. You stop it so that you allow yourself to acknowledge it and release it. Now it's hard to let go of anger. So just imagine that you're stopping it for the time being while you T take three deep breaths. And when you do, I'd like for you to feel a smile running through your body. Feel it from your head to your toes and your toes to your head. Feel the energy of smiling. Now I know that may seem counterintuitive. You're angry. Why would you smile? Well, because you can't have two thoughts at the same time. So you might as well imagine what it would be like to be smiling full time. Okay, so you smile and you've taken three deep breaths and now O stands for observe. Observe yourself as you feel the smile, as you feel the release of the anger and just watch it move away. Think the thought, this too shall pass. And really imagine that it has left the body and the building. Now the truth of the matter is conflict in healthy relationships causes intimacy. So with P, I want you to use that to process and proceed. Notice the new feeling in your body and ask yourself, how can I now handle this situation with love, care, compassion, and kindness. Now that can be a tough one, but that may mean that you call somebody, you know, and you say, I am going to release my wife from this anger I'm feeling right now. Or that may mean that you leave a note that says, honey, I love you. You mean the world to me. I'm sorry we had our disagreement. What is one act of kindness that you can do for you, not for her? For you, not for him. To release the anger and to have it motivate you to be a better person, to have more connection, care, and compassion. I recently used this um, in a situation where I was very... Uh, hurt and angry with a friend. We actually had been very harsh to each other. That's not my style, so I hated that I did that. But she was really harsh with me too. And so I used this method. I stopped. I said, why is this upsetting you so much? And the truth of the matter is I had done something really kind and it got misinterpreted and it hurt my feelings. And then I got angry. Okay, so I acknowledged it. T, I took three deep breaths. And um, I really imagined that sensation of smiling throughout my entire body. I'm a smiler anyway. But to feel it in my feet, my legs, my belly, my chest, it was a wonderful feeling. Because remember, that's what O stands for. Oh, sorry, that's what T stands for. Oh, I observed myself feeling better. I imagined what the observation was 
of knowing that I felt better. And then P, I processed it and proceeded. I called her on the phone. She was getting ready to go on vacation. I said, hey, I just wanted to wish you a, a wonderful vacation, a happy time, and uh, I'll talk to you when you get back. Tell your hubby I said hello. I treated it with care, kindness, and compassion. And you know what? I liked myself a lot better that way than in the anger. So there is no doubt that if you're a partner, you have lots of reasons to feel angry. And if you're an addict, you have lots of reasons to be angry at yourself and also to be angry that she's not getting better or she's getting better but that she's slipping back. I mean, it's natural to feel some anger about that and to forget that that's a trauma response. So the next time you feel her resentment or the next time you feel his anger, I want you to use the stop method and see if you can't turn it around. Because conflict in healthy relationships breeds intimacy and that's what you're working on together getting healthy. Anger can motivate you to create care, concern, compassion, and kindness. I'm Carol the Coach, and I want you to use the STOP method the next time you need to allow your anger to motivate you into kindness.